Good day and welcome back to the Crypto Bliss channel today. I have an exciting guest that hasn't been on the channel for at least five months. It's been a very long time since we've seen him. Welcome back to the channel before crypto. How are you doing today, my man? I'm doing absolutely great. I'm so honored to be back on your show. A lot of things happened in that time and I think we're going to catch up what happened in the markets. Absolutely. Today is going to be an insane video packed with absolutely powerful information from before crypto so make sure to stay tuned with us right to the very end there's going to be a lot that you're not going to want to miss out on because he's got a lot going for us right here so thank you for being here with us make sure to subscribe to before crypto's channel he would love to get some of the crypto bliss community following him and and sharing in on the crypto space and the crypto knowledge so let's delve right in my man before crypto so where are we today in the crypto space yes we've seen a terrible dump at the moment altcoins got absolutely slaughtered bitcoin didn't move as much but we're seeing a major consolidation in the markets and i also think we are seeing well manipulation at the mark at the moment to drive the weak hands out of the market so th that is definitely happening at the moment absolutely and what do you believe perhaps could be causing this this dump that we've been experiencing. I mean, it's only how much? 10% or something like that from the top, right? Yeah. Yes, definitely. R round about that. I think it's a lot of FUD. Um, also, when, come, when it comes to unclear regulations in the US, and I think also a lot of money flowed into meme coins, and this major meme coin hype needs to be shifted again into like stable and solid projects and that i think is happening a lot of people sold maybe altcoins to put them into meme coins because we had this major meme hype but overall actually we're in a quite bullish phase because the market is quite down and it gives you the opportunity to get into these projects at a low range because we're at the bottom of the range and yes maybe we can dip a little bit lower but i think we're close to the bottom from this overall consolidation phase I love that before crypto and you know i i believe i would concur and i'm sure you'll show us in a few minutes some of your charts but Definitely. what do you besides for this fud that is causing this kind of fall in the market we've obviously seen quite a, a consolidation area at the all-time the previous all-time high basically for the last couple of weeks can you tell us a little bit about what happens at the halving point and what does that look like going forward and when can we expect a potential next leg up yeah so we always saw this consolidation phase during the halving the halving was actually not a bullish phase we saw that the uh, the price movement went bullish towards the halving and at, at the halving we saw kind of a consolidation phase and i think at the moment that the whales are playing this move because we've seen it before in the move that we had from the bottom and for that i'm also going to share my charts at the moment Perfect. Going to, because here on the daily chart we can see this overall consolidation we had for bitcoin at the moment and yes we've been moving sideways from the beginning of march so we saw this down move all the way back down to the 100 moving average we broke it and then we came all the way back up and this is also exactly what i've been telling my community is because we have seen exactly this picture before because if we're going to zoom out on the daily chart we're going to go all the way back to the zone we had at around about 44,000 US dollars. We also had this consolidation and we came back into this golden pocket and the same scenario we saw at the moment. But yes, we also saw this major consolidation before because if we go all the way back, we had this major range that we've been forming around the 30,000 US dollar level. And we saw the same scenario. We came all the way back down to the 61.8, the golden ratio from this breakout point. And we saw this long sideways move. And this was even longer than the move we had at the moment. So I guess we are in the same scenario at the moment that we're just seeing this accumulation phases. And this is also the phases where everybody turned bearish exactly here. A lot of YouTubers were calling, like for El Couple, he was calling for even a lower low all the way down here. And this is always when the market, a lot of people turn bearish, sell their cryptocurrencies or believe or, or lose the hope in crypto. And this is where they are going to exit the market. And this is exactly what the wells are using because they're 
making maximum pain exactly here. A lot of people sell their crypto and what do they do? They push the price back higher. And this is a major accumulation phase. I think the institutions or even countries, they're just manipulating the markets at the moment. And the people won't get this entry point. If they're not going to dollar cost average, they're going to enter back up here because this move is going to be extremely fast. Do you have perhaps, I, I love what you've drawn out here and and I love how obviously everybody has their own views of the market and a kind of um, resistance and support levels, right? It's amazing to yeah. see how we all kind of get to the same sort of answer, similar targets, regardless of all of the tools that we're using here. So I love to see that you're using your, your um, moving averages and your golden ratio pockets before crypto. Tell us a little bit about the point just after the halving there where you've drawn your circle and the current level that we're at at this point what would that what is this kind of signal you know you said if you're not accumulating right now people will be buying at a higher price can you just yeah. just go through this a little bit more with us in terms of where we at on this range yeah definitely it at the moment i can see that the market came all the way back down to the mid range here because here we had this point of control here we had a major volume cluster and these two green lines they're the points of control from the VPVR so we can see a lot of volume in this zone again so this we broke this level exactly here a few days ago and this is where a lot of people turn bearish and they are calling for these lows and this is also what the whales are trying to give you the signal that we are going down here but I don't think we're going back down here. Yes, maybe we're going back down here, but we can see a lot of liquidations around about the $72,000 level. So I think this is going to be max pain because a lot of people think we're going to go to the range low again. And I don't think, I think we're going to turn around here to liquidate all of these longs. Maybe we're going to see a longer consolidation phase. I don't think we're going to break out that easily from here. But I think if we're going to get this breakout, it is going to be an explosive move. So yes, at the moment, I think we are kind of like in this zone here, because here we also saw that the price went bounced off this level and we came up to liquidate all of these shorts here with this high, and then we came all the way back down. So I guess we are going to see something similar to this, that we're going to come all the way back up and dump straight back down, maybe to the range low, and after that, we could see this breakout. But this is just, as long as we're consolidating in this move, I think the more people kind of like get the feeling from range high, range low, range high, range low. And I don't think this pattern is going to hold much longer. So I think we're going to see either a massive breakout or like a major fake out with a fast move straight back up. So do you think that fake out move that, that you last mentioned here would be a move that would become possible through perhaps manipulation. I mean, I guess if we yeah. look to just the left of that, there was quite a huge candle down and an immediate buyback up. Yeah. Yeah. Something like this, maybe a banking crash, maybe some kind of a black swan event. Um, and this will drive a lot of people out of the crypto market, sell their Bitcoin. And we all know that BlackRock wants to have more Bitcoin and they're buying daily. So this is just fun. So yeah, definitely, this is your buying zone. You won't catch the bottom. And if you're not dollar cost averaging exactly here, you're going to buy the tops. And maybe it is the top of the next range. You don't know. And then you keep on holding again, buying the top. So just dollar cost average into firm projects at the moment. Absolutely. That is my clear message. Because definitely we're going to see an outcome season. Because if you look at the cycles, I found this over on X. We can see that in the previous cycle, we also came all the way up here to the previous all-time high. And then we saw this major breakout. And this is the other, these are all the altcoins, the performance of all the altcoins. I never heard of other D before, but um, if we look at the explanation, it tells us that it's the performance of all the altcoins, like in regard to Bitcoin. So this is actually quite interesting. And we could see at the previous, um, previous halving phase exactly here we saw that the altcoins also had the swing high and we had this low and afterwards we saw this major explosion and at the moment here we saw the swing high we had the swing low exactly here so definitely we're at the bottom for the altcoins and we had some major discount prices 
I love that. And I, I this is an absolutely spot on chart too. I, I don't know if you yourself are also tracking total three and and total two yeah. at all. Definitely here. Here you can see my total total three market cap. Let me just go on the weekly chart. Yeah. So this is a total three market cap. And here we can see at the previous halvening, we also were in this consolidation phase around the moving averages. And this time again, we can see this consolidation. Yes, we are a little bit slotted here, but um, what makes the difference from the previous um, altcoin season or something, we can see major institutions are buying Bitcoin. And I think Bitcoin was a dominant cryptocurrency at the moment. And that's why the altcoins are struggling to, to, to get all this liquidity from Bitcoin. But definitely that is going to change and we're going to see this major altcoin season. Because in the previous altcoin season, the altcoin market cap went up 1,800% just from the halvening. That's amazing. So do you... Yeah. Uh, do you say and and see the Bitcoin dominance chart is also, of course, breaking kind of back up towards its its current highs? Um, yes, we can see it at, at this major resistance point here. So and yes, I think we're going to see a turnaround somewhat here in this phase. Do you think we could push Definitely. up a little bit more at all? Uh. Mm, I'm not too sure. Um, I also think like the dominance chart with all these new altcoins, um, I think it's quite hard to just look at the dominance, uh, at the Bitcoin dominance with all these new cryptocurrencies entering the market. Um, I don't look at the dominance chart too much, but what I've looked at at the moment is the dollar currency index. And if we look at the weekly chart, we had this major break of this major parabolic phase and we came all the way back down formed lower highs here we had this higher high but since then we are just forming lower highs and if we're going to get this rejection in this major liquidity zone here because we can see we had some previous resistance all the way down here and also previous support so this looks kind of like the dollar wants to come back down and this ultimately would mean that bitcoin is going to turn around within these regions definitely that's absolutely amazing before crypto to the crypto bliss community make sure you are subscribed to before crypto right there right now he is giving you absolutely insane alpha here as you can see i saw on one of your charts there you said the biggest altcoin season ever can you tell us a little bit more about your your text statement on your chart there yeah, I think the overall adoption of crypto is picking up and a lot of people are waking up to what are the possibilities and I just see a major capital inflow in cryptocurrencies overall because the people will look at Bitcoin. Yes, uh, you can buy a fraction of Bitcoin and yes, Bitcoin is the ultimate currency and that is also what we want to hold in the future. But a lot of people will get the opportunities in altcoins because definitely for Solana, like Chainlink, they're all still underneath the previous highs and not even just underneath the previous highs. They're still underneath the 61.8 from the overall retracement move we had. So they didn't even see this major move yet. So yes, on Bitcoin, maybe you could get a 3x, 5x, but on all these altcoins, you could definitely see an easy 7, 10x, or even maybe a 20x. Wow, that's absolutely definitely. incredible. I'd like to be a bit sneaky and, and perhaps get your view on how long you believe the cycle will kind of be towards the, the end of the cycle, the top. What do you think the price would be of Bitcoin only um, at that mm. point? If we go over to a long-term perspective of Bitcoin, the BLX chart, let me just see where it is, I think on the weekly chart. Yes. So if we're going to look at the previous uh, Bitcoin cycles, we could expect like the top being in roundabout in, let's say, what is it? October, end of October. So usually if we're going to look at this measured moves from the halvening, this usually the end of October, this would be the cycle top, like roundabout. So the end of so October this, would this be, year? No, next year, 2025. Absolutely awesome. 
Yeah, so this is going to be round about the top. But we seen a previous, uh, we saw that the market went like absolutely ballistic before the halvening already. So I don't like to say maybe this time it's different, but uh, <laughs> it is every time it's different. But I don't like the saying this time it's different because we can see from the cycles of Bitcoin that it usually tends to be the same. So, but and I think maybe this time we could see something like maybe like a double top or even like a triple top, something like this. Okay. So like maybe this consolidation phase we had over here, these whale manipulations we see all over again on the wiki chart. We can see that Bitcoin in the previous bull uh, phase, we didn't have this, this major, we had like a black swan event, but we can see this some kind of a pattern working out here. So I think like our top is going to be like a bigger consolidation, maybe. Okay. I like that view. Maybe, and maybe more manipulation because we can see from the ETF outflows, we can see that they are also trading Bitcoin. They are selling and buying. So I think it's that what we are seeing. And maybe they're not going to make it easy for retail investors to make these profits because a lot of retail investors from the mindset, they like to panic when the markets are going down, which is actually from your mindset, it must be different. So actually the phase that we are seeing at the moment for Bitcoin is actually a bullish phase because the markets are going down, you're getting lower prices, better entry on trades. So actually you must be bullish when the markets are down and bearish when the markets are pumping. And this is the time where you should, where you should turn bearish round about in August, maybe even take some profits before like August, take 25% of your cryptocurrencies if the market keeps on going and we're going to see a super cycle with maybe like bitcoin just being in this major accumulation phase for years because like we also saw with the gold etfs um they had like a major super cycle they didn't see this sharp bear markets like we saw before for bitcoin so just hold on and every bearishness you see in the market turn it into bullishness and know your time horizon and that is definitely going to be my message and my top for bitcoin you asked me for like price levels i'm going to be conservative like 150,000 to 200,000 maybe in this range and like i said i think we're going to see like the prices being like more consolidated over time maybe like with triple tops or even like that the market is just going to like move sideways fantastic insights there from before crypto thank you my man i i do absolutely love i've actually put my own predictions as the 25th of october 2025 also so it seems as though our yeah <laughs> our timeline horizons are are pretty much aligned and uh i think that's incredible for the community so essentially before crypto you're obviously telling us that Bitcoin could possibly three to five X between now and that point, because those are the price targets. What do you think altcoins could bring in liquidity? Considering earlier on, you actually said that crypto is getting mass adoption. And of course, we are seeing a considered super cycle um, unfolding with the launch of all of these ETFs, which could possibly bring in a lot more liquidity, which we haven't seen come into the space yet. What do you think is happening in the altcoin space and how much, what kind of market cap do you see at the top of the altcoin season? Oh, I definitely see that the market cap is going to double from here. Definitely. Definitely. Is that a minimum? No, not a minimum. It's a conservative uh, price target. But I think a lot of these altcoins, they're going to see a massive pump. Like for instance, I'm making a major bet on Solana because I think Solana is going to going to really outperform. Amazing. I think like price targets to a thousand dollars or even like with a with an absolute bullish target of maybe even the previous the previous bull market prices for Ethereum, which were around about three thousand dollars. I think like Solana could definitely reach those levels. Wow, that's incredible. So speaking of yeah. Solana, do you have can you list one or two of your 
top altcoin picks for this cycle and your highest conviction altcoin picks? Uh, my highest conviction altcoin picks, I must say Solana at the moment because I like really got in low at Solana. I was calling on my videos, I was calling people to buy Solana at $16 when we were all the way down at these levels. So Solana definitely, I have the most conviction at the moment. And then like chains like Chainlink because of the real world assets and of course AI picks like Render, AR. I think these projects are really going to perform extremely well. That is absolutely so it really depends on narratives. I think the biggest narrative is going to be like AI and also real world assets like Chainlink. And so I think these are going to be and also Solana, because a lot of things are happening on Solana when it comes to adoption. Also with the Phantom wallet, you can view your charts at the moment, a lot of meme coins. And I think once the once the Solana network is going to roll out, we can see a lot of um, major companies tap into these uh, in the Solana network. So I think Solana is a great pick. Do you think we'll have an, a Solana ETF down the line? Mm, I wouldn't be too sure about that. Uh, maybe yes, but uh, I think Solana is fine as it is. We don't need an ETF for, for all of our cryptocurrencies. I love that. I love that. This has been a real insightful and wonderful catch up session with you, my man. Before definitely, Kipto. really appreciate. I was extremely you glad to be here. Yes. Yeah, it's been and such a long guys, time. <laughs> yeah, we have to do it more often. We have to like make a regular every two weeks or every week. We come together so that our community can exchange all of their thoughts. And yes, so we can build a bigger community because this is what really is important. We are supporting each other. So guys, support us, like Crypto Bliss's channel. And please guys, with all of my community, just support each other. And this is maybe the best thing that we could do because we all help each other and we're trying to get all this alpha out to you. So the least that we expect are thumbs up and a subscription. That is fantastic. It has been such a real pleasure. Make sure to subscribe to Before Crypto and his community. We'd love to share our community insights. So leave some comments down below in the video and make sure to hit that notification bell so that you know when we do our next collaboration. Thank you for being here. Definitely. Before Crypto, my man. It was an honor. We'll see you on the next one, brother. See you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.